Hi there and welcome to the channel of A Disappointed Man with me Jason Kennedy, The Disappointed Man and in this very short video I'll be talking about this book which is M.R. James's Collected Ghost Stories. Now if you don't know anything about M.R. James he was born in the last quarter of the 19th century and he died in the 1930s and in life he was a quite brilliant scholar and he rose to become provost of Eton College and he was also the originator of the antiquarian ghost story and what I'm going to do is just pick out a handful of tales from this very fine collection all of them are worth reading but I'll pick out my favorites and just share with you why I enjoyed them so much so the first one the ash tree now the pleasure here derives from how the story is organized because we follow the narrator as he engages in the process of historical research and watch how he assembles the tale from disparate materials, which include an account of a 1690 witch's trial and execution, the papers of a parson, a letter to the gentleman's magazine, the memories of the parson's grandson, and then the final scene, which is narrated as if we ourselves are present. And jolly gruesome it is, that is a splendid tale. Now the next one is A Whistle and I'll Come to You My Lad, a title taken from a Robert Burns poem and there is an amazing, wonderful, incredibly good adaptation of this up on YouTube. It was directed by the great Jonathan Miller and stars the arguably even greater Michael Hordon and the link is in the description and if you have half an hour to spare I seriously recommend checking it out. Now the strength of this story is how fully realised the central character is and he is an academic who prides himself on the fact he has absolutely no belief in the existence of the supernatural and this almost predestines him to have a terrifying encounter with these very forces and it's not to be forgotten in a hurry and it also picks up on two of James's themes first of which is the, uh, the dangers of excessive curiosity and the second is the danger of disturbing things which have been placed into the earth. Next story is Casting the Runes. This is the most suspenseful tale and it concerns an evil scholar of the occult who by magical means does away with those who incur his displeasure. So after murdering one man, he sets his sight on another. And the action concerns how the intended victim extricates himself from his doom, highly thrilling. Um, next up is the Mr. Humphreys and his inheritance. Now, um, this has a terrible adaptation circulating on YouTube, notable for its bizarrely incongruous improvised jazz soundtrack. And if you have another 30 minutes to spare and you just want a good laugh, then you could check it out. The link is also contained in the description. But this contains the single most frightening moment all of the tales and reading about how this um, story was composed it appears that this moment may have been spliced in from another story that James was working on and that would explain why absolutely nothing prepares you for this dreadful shock that you will receive and when you reach that point in the story you will understand precisely what I am speaking of very good um, story let me finish by um, speaking about the, um, for me, the best story in the collection, the one that stands head and shoulders above the others. And that is A Warning to the Curious. Now it concerns a legend that three crowns have been buried on the coast of England to protect this island from invasion. And in the story, a gentleman has come into possession of knowledge of the whereabouts of one of these crowns and has actually retrieved it with faithful consequences and so convincing is this story that it's actually passed into legend itself and um, an academic article notes how this story is now often taken as genuine legend and was told as such by several Suffolk residents to the folklorist Enid Potter who seems to have accepted it as authentic that's a beautiful testimony to the power of this particular tale and that is all I wish to say about this M.R. James collection. If you've yet to read any of his work, you will find it a rare treat. 
So I'm almost envious of you having that pleasure. I just have to satisfy myself with rereading them every year. Um, and the pleasure, while still great, is never quite that original rush of excitement, is it? So I will leave you by repeating my mantra. Be safe, be strong, and I shall see you anon. Until then, nanu nanu.